The CDC has released a tool so that people at school systems, you know, educators and administrators can self-assess their LGBT inclusivity. No, I'm not making this up. This is real. Because you know what you want to be? An awesome ally. Yes, that's the phrase by the CDC. Can you become an awesome ally of the LGBT? Because that's apparently our goal. Remember, this is the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. How is LGBT inclusivity connected with fewer diseases? I'm not really sure. In fact, the very opposite could be stated with some confidence, but I digress. We're going to go through the tool. I'm not going to go through every line because uh, I don't want to make people sick, but we will go through some of the, the highlights here so you can understand exactly what is being pushed on the school systems You know, by the by the Biden administration, right? This is coming from, from the top of our government and is, is landing at your local school systems. So the, uh, you know, educator or what have you is supposed to look at this and go uh, and read it and say, I advocate for LGBTQ inclusive and affirming materials in all school and classroom environments. And then you choose A, B or C. If you're A, you're an awesome ally. A, of course, being yes all the time, because I want more of those, you know, pornographic books inside the school system on um, homosexual sex, because, of course. Moving on. The next one. I correct those around me if I hear them using incorrect, outdated, derogatory, or harmful language or terminology. Now, if, if you're awesome and you do this all the time, I mean, let's just break this down, though. What's outdated? I mean, what is outdated terminology? This is, like, the, the leftist mindset here is always, well, we're progressive, so we're just moving forwards, and anybody who doesn't move forward with us is outdated. It's like, they're not moving forward, they're moving in a perverse direction. You know, I guess you could say they're moving towards something, it's just not something that I ever want to be at. And the terms that are outdated what's that male and female man and woman almost certainly yes well, we'll go further in a moment but these aren't outdated they're correct and what they want at the cdc is for everyone who's in the school system in some way to correct any any use of these terms all right let's move on i use inclusive terminology example using individuals chosen names slash pronouns not assuming the genders of individuals, friends, family members, or romantic partners in conversations with students, peers, and community members. So here we are, that was quick, at using the chosen names and pronouns. So, so, the, so when, you know, a guy whose name is Greg decides that he wants to be Paula, you then have to use the name Paula, and then use the, the pronouns, she, to refer to Greg. Uh, this, this is wrong because doing all of that is lying, you know, and a place of education should be a place of truth. And this is, this is, this is why it's perverse. It's all about denying truth and pretending that the lie is so, pretending that the guy is actually a girl and so on, and then forcing everyone else to comply through, in the very least, harassment by telling them, no, you're using outdated expressions and terminology. And then throughout this CDC document, we've got these pictures of drag queens, just in case you didn't know where the Biden administration stood. And then the school health policies section. I mean, we can analyze whether or not the policies of the school are up to date and progressive enough, or should we say LGBT inclusive? Says, the policy in place allows students to use the bathroom locker room, which aligns to their chosen gender. I mean, this is a pretty extreme position, even amongst those on the left. So if you talk to somebody who is just sort of on the street or at your workplace, be careful there, um, who votes Democrat, you may end up finding that, by and large, they don't actually want boys in girls locker rooms at school and they don't actually think that that's happening i mean they'd be wrong quite clearly the cdc is making sure of it 
There are also extra programs in which the Biden administration is trying to punish public schools that refuse to do this by cutting off their funding. That's separate to this, of course, but they both kind of go together. And we'll, we'll continue to the next one. The policies in place accommodate students who want their paperwork to present their chosen name and pronouns rather than their legal name. So we're admitting here that the student has not had a legal name change, and yet we're going ahead and using another name in any case, and the pronouns were pretending as if they have no basis in fact, and instead are just easily swapped out, because what is truth? And then we continue. Our district allows teachers to develop LGBTQ inclusive curricula or adapt curricula and materials to be more LGBTQ inclusive. So bring more of those books in, um, you know, that we've seen so much about in recent times. I'll get, I'll get to that in, in just a minute, actually. But there's one more under assessment for educators, special section. If you're a teacher, you're supposed to, you know, become the awesome ally by saying yes to my classroom or learning space includes visual labels, e.g. rainbow flags, pink triangles, unisex bathroom signs, marking it as a safe space for LGBTQ students. Now, okay, so you've got these different visual, visual signs, as they put it. Right? What about if you had something from a Christian symbol? Would that be okay? Or is or we're not inclusive to them. Because that's the thing. All of this actually, under the guise of inclusivity, is rather exclusive. It excludes uh, people who side with decency, who seek to, you know, defend tradition, who seek to um, promulgate the faith. All of these things are excluded, and they're, you know, cast aside because they're just bigoted or whatever, unlike the people who want to mutilate children and their genitals. These are the times that we live in. But all of these different, you notice there are multiple times there, and these are just a, a few that I chose out of the PDF, multiple times were teachers and uh, school systems implored to bring in more LGBT books and that kind of thing. It's like, this is how you end up with stuff like, this book is gay in classrooms. This book is gay. If you actually look inside that book, which has been at numerous different classrooms, brought in by individual teachers, just like the CDC says ought to happen, shows actual gay sex acts inside of it and describes in really crude language how to facilitate it. Again, this is all for, for, t for teenagers and children. It's, it's not an accident that these, these incidents are happening throughout the country with, with teachers just seemingly doing their own thing and then the school system defends themselves and says, well, it wasn't, it wasn't our curriculum that, that had this book is gay, for example, it, in it. It was just an individual teacher that decided to act. Well, the school policies are supposed to be written according to the CDC to allow those individual teachers to make whatever decisions they want in regards to this. As long as it's under the guise of um, LGBT, they can do whatever they want. They have pretty fair game. And also the same CDC guidelines tell teachers to bring in their own materials. So it's not an accident. It's all part of the scheme that's going on that is designed to expose children at a very early age to, to material that is indecent without any sort of pushback from, from, I hate to call it the other side, but you know, without any exposure to why this is wrong. Because by and large, these aren't topics that are being discussed at all to kids this age by people who are more traditional, or by people who are of faith. Because we don't sit around and talk with kids about sex. Right? It just isn't something that, that happens or should happen. The bottom line is you really need to protect your kids from the school systems themselves by limiting the exposure to those school systems and doing whatever you can uh, to protect kids from it because it is just so over the top right now and it's not going to change because the, the pressure is coming from the very top onto these schools to make sure this happens. Wow, you made it to the end. You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world, but I have more videos. And also, if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.